I'm Candace Blake, your Thomasville Neighborhood Reporter, and you may remember a story I covered a while back showing you one of these. It's a cat trap meant to help with the overpopulation of stray cats in the area. Now that good deed started by a college student has officially turned into a nonprofit. A problem that keeps rearing its head in Thomas County. There's no place in Thomasville that doesn't have an overpopulation of feral cats. You may remember a story I did back in July introducing a Thomas County University student working to fix that, Kristen Manza, the person behind All Saints Cats Trap Neuter Return. This just started as sort of like a backyard operation with just me being like, hey, there's a couple cats here. I need to do something. Now that mission to help has turned into an official nonprofit. Here's why that's important. We can apply for grants now. Whereas before the organization was fueled solely by donations, though the problem is far from over. The slow dawning realization of the vast number that there is. Christopher Linton is one of many Thomasville neighbors who has experienced the overpopulation of cats firsthand. Each neighborhood, anywhere there is a dumpster or anything like that, there's a colony basically. A year ago, Thomas County and Thomasville Humane parted ways, leaving animal control up to the sheriff's office. While the sheriff's office found its footing, many animals went unsheltered. We are nowhere near done. Making Manza's TNR's latest status change right on time. I'm extremely proud. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of the work that she's done. If you would like to get involved or even adopt a cat, head on over to my story where I'll have a direct link to get you started. I'm Candace Blake, your Thomasville Neighborhood Reporter, ABC 27.